rental company Cars on Rent is all set to build itself as a consumer brand. To drive the same plan, the company acquired QCabs.com for an undisclosed amount last year. Cars on Rent also runs radio cab service under the brand Easy Cabs. As a part of the recent restructuring, the mother brand is now being used for both outstation cab booking and local fixed hour cab rental by individuals or corporate clients. Cars on Rent is clocking revenues worth 25 to 30 crores per month, which gives it an annualized business of rupees 300 to 330 crores. This also brings the company at a 15% margin, which is good as per industry average. It has been growing its top line at a CAGR of 35%. The firm expects to generate as much as 300 to 400 crores of revenue from just the online cab booking platform by 2015, which will again build the company as a strong consumer brand. In terms of expansion, Rajiv Vich, the CEO and founder of the company, told us that Cars on Rent will be investing Rs. 150 crores in the next three years and is also looking at self-drive as a potential market. The growth of the company has attracted investors like SIDBI, Westbridge and BTS who have pumped into the company a total of 100 crores. In a recent interaction with VC Circle, Rajiv Vich talks about the expansion plans, his views on the recent acquisition and how the company is adequately funded at present. So today we have with us Mr. Rajiv Vich, the man behind Cars on Rent and we are here to discuss the same with Sir. Uh, sir, recently you know you have announced that you will be uh, investing 150 crores in the next three years. So why don't you take us through the plan that how will this fund be segregated in the investment? As Cars on Rent we now operate in principally three product areas. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have a corporate car rental product, we also have an operating lease product mm -hmm. and we have a radio taxi service. And under the car rentals, we operate uh, now in fact in 34 cities. Uh, but one of the things that we are doing is that within car rentals, most of our portfolio now is uh, where we have chauffeur driven cars. Okay. The self drive cars are a small part of the total portfolio as of now. So we are looking at a major expansion of the self drive portfolio over the next three years. And we will be investing significant amount of money in expanding that fleet. Mm -hmm. uh, to begin with we are going to be launching self drive in seven cities where we have airport locations in all these seven cities. Uh, we will also be offering uh, cars uh, in these cities from the city locations that we have. Uh, the second thing that we are doing is that we are expanding our uh, our presence into the limo segment. Okay. So we have uh, we have a we have as of today we are the largest uh, uh, company which owns uh, Mercedes cars and the high end cars in mm -hmm. India. Uh, the total number of cars that we have is uh, is roughly some 300 cars that we have in that mm -hmm. segment. Uh, in fact, I am told that we have placed some of the largest uh, single orders on Mercedes uh, that, that any uh, customer has placed in India. Uh, but that segment we see a lot of opportunity and we are going to be growing that business into the airline segment, into hotel segment which are all expanding. Mm -hmm and uh, we are going to expand our portfolio there. So we will be making investments into building that fleet. Uh, the third area where we see uh, uh, a large opportunity is in terms of the operating lease business. Okay. Now as far as the operating lease business is concerned, uh, you know the corporates are more and more now wanting companies like us uh, to give cars which they can give to their employees as part of their perk value. Uh, we right now have a portfolio of about 2000 cars there. But in the next three years we are looking at, at uh, maybe three times increasing that portfolio. So there would be significant investments which, which will go into, into our lease business. Mm -hmm. Also geographically, 
Uh, our understanding is that while most car rental companies even today are only into 10-12 cities across India, we believe that India is uh, is into far too many uh, cities and, and you know it is like a continent. And therefore we have planned that over the next three years mm -hmm. we will go into a total of 100 cities across India. Okay. We are now uh, already gone into 34 cities where we provide services to our customers. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll be going to another 66 cities over the next three years. Okay. And what kind of response are you getting from smaller cities in terms of volumes? I think very good. You know, one of the most interesting things that we have seen um, is that a lot of our existing corporate customers, mm -hmm. they, have, uh, they have gone into a number of more cities. Mm -hmm. And they are all wanting us to go to those cities because they have set up their operations in those cities and they wanting reliable services, good quality mm -hmm. services from, from us. Uh, and, and so they are, they are like existing captive customer base that mm -hmm. we have. Mm -hmm. And we service almost 600 companies today. Okay. And a lot of them are opening new projects. Uh, there, are, there are new opportunities that are coming up with them. So that, that gives us a base. Similarly, even hotels, you know, we work with a lot of hotel chains. Mm -hmm. Now, all these hotel chains are also opening new properties in tier 2 and tier 3 cities. Mm -hmm. They want us to also provide services in those cities to them. Uh, so, that, that uh, uh, helps significantly. Uh, thirdly, I think, you know, our entire uh, strategy of going and expanding our airport presence uh, we recently got into Amritsar Airport, into Vizag Airport. Uh, there are about 54 airports which are under renovation in the country okay. and we are looking at expanding our base into more and more airports as we go. So, so all of those things are part of our plan. I see a very clear focus on the corporate side. So what percentage of your business I mean, is, is only corporates, hotels, airports and you know is and how, much, how much of it is directly to the consumer? Well, interestingly, I think we are the only only company in this mm. space in India and you might not find too many companies even worldwide mm -hmm. which have an almost equal kind of business to the corporate part of the of the market and to the individual customers. Okay. Uh, our presence at the airports, uh, these are all travelers who come to, to our counters and take cars. We in fact earlier this year we acquired a small entity which was promoted by two young IITNs. Yeah. Uh, this was QCAB, so mm -hmm. we merged them with our company and now these two guys, they uh, they are building uh, an online platform. Uh, we launched this platform about two months back. Mm -hmm. <coughs> this platform is already generating about, uh, about 400 transactions every day. Uh, and, and you know, we, we believe that this has the potential to become as big as our current total business of the company over the next three years. Okay. So we believe that our, our online platform itself mm -hmm. could perhaps become uh, a, a business which could be as large as some three to four hundred crores mm -hmm. over the next three, four years. So basically the acquisition has really worked oh, well yes, for you. Oh yes, definitely. Okay. I think acquisition has worked. We have also invested heavily on technology uh, along with this. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, we are also going to be investing heavily on, on marketing uh, both online and offline. We in fact recently uh, did a, a campaign where we, we had uh, done some uh, uh, holdings uh, in, in cities like Delhi, Bangalore and, and uh, Mumbai. So the response has been very, very good. What is the top line that you have right now? What rate have you been growing at and what are the aims? What are the targets that you have in mind? See, we right now do a revenue of about 25 to 30 crores a month. Okay. That's where we are mm -hmm. as of today. So, you know, you can say that we are at a run rate of about 320, 330 crores uh, mm -hmm. during the current year. Uh, but we have been growing at a, at a CAGR of about 34% annually. Okay. And what are the margin differences between higher end cars, your uh, running taxis and also self-drive? See, overall as an industry, I think uh, this industry has the potential to give you uh, net margins of between 10 to 15 percent. Okay. Uh, 
the different services within uh, within the portfolio uh, will give different margins but then uh, you know different services also have different seasonality attached mm. to them uh, so uh, so i i don't think it is uh, it is really uh, the different services that you need to look at but i think overall as an industry as i said it has the potential to give you up to about 15% of net margins and globally what are the margins that this business has similar i think uh, comparatively much smaller because okay. uh, because the markets Maybe there are, are far more competitive Okay. Uh, also, I think there the life cycle of a car in their fleet is is much shorter. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, but I suppose you know those markets, those uh, uh, those those countries have reached a stage uh, which is uh, where their growth is very very small. I mean you know they either grow by two percent or they they shrink by two percent. Mm -hmm. But I think we are we are still at a stage where we grow by thirty, forty, fifty percent annually. Okay. And uh, you also mentioned that now 50% is corporate, and you you're seeing a equal, uh, you know, segregation between the two businesses. How has this changed in the past? Was it previous? Uh, has this always been the ratio? The when we started uh, for the first, I think, uh, for five years, mm -hmm. almost the entire business was corporate. Okay. It's only in the last five six years that we have consciously built the retail part of the business. Mm -hmm. And we have made sure that you know the retail also grows and and through, grows to the same extent. Through which what what kind of efforts? The one of course the uh, the radio taxi business is something mm -hmm. that we built. The other was this initiative to go into all the airports. Mm -hmm. And third is this whole initiative on on the online space that we are building up. So okay. those are I would say the three initiatives. That But you built. have two different websites, right? We now uh, we now have a single website where you have all the services okay. on a single platform. In fact, you know if you mm -hmm. go to carsandrent.com mm -hmm. now, on a single platform you see local car rentals, you see okay. city car rentals, you see easy Where cab, radio happen? taxis. Because This is about three months. Three months, okay. Uh, you see also international car rentals across the world. Okay. So we have uh, we have built a relationship with 600 car rental companies across the world, mm -hmm. through whom we now are able to offer car rental services in 125 countries. Okay. Uh, we also have self drive on the same platform. So this is a single platform now. Oh. We also uh, we also now have a national single reservation setup. uh which is the 0888222222 so this this setup offers you bookings for all the services that that we have offered you raised funds you know 100 crores approximately okay and you have also mentioned in the past that you are adequately funded right now and you don't need funds so you know is it that you are looking for is it that your uh, ultimate aim is an ipo and you know you are looking for some investors to exit and you i mean what is what is there in your mind see uh, i think i am in a very happy situation mm -hmm. where for my business plans i don't need any funding mm -hmm. where my existing investors are not pushing me that they want to exit mm -hmm. uh but Uh, there are private equity investors who all the time keep on getting in touch with me that they want to make an investment into our company i have also had situations where some uh, funds have come in who want to give an exit to our existing investors and the existing investors have refused win uh, <laughs> so i think uh, you know in that sense i am in a very happy situation but uh, uh, i i am not uh, i am not fixed on one particular route to take uh in terms of giving an exit to our to our existing investors it is possible that um, that we find uh, uh an investor who is willing to give an exit to these investors and that's uh, something that is is uh, acceptable to them uh so we will we'll perhaps go through with that mm -hmm. uh, it is also possible that we decide to go and list uh, and and you know that to use that as the route mm -hmm. to give an exit to all of them but that's something which which we we'll, uh, which we we'll really look at uh, as an opportunistic situation we are not we are not actively looking for any so this for this 150 crore 3 years we are relaxed we are very relaxed 
Okay, okay. And seventy percent stake you have in the company right now. Right? About sixty-five percent. About sixty-five. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you also looking at more acquisitions in the coming future? If you have identified anything uh, as of now, okay. <laughs> but you know, as I said, if something very interesting comes our way, we we might look at it. But it's very interesting that you're saying that online. Will be a substantial uh, uh, well, part. Globally, it's mm-hmm. a very substantial part, and and you know, in our in our process to build uh, cars on rent as a consumer brand, mm-hmm. uh, we believe that the brand uh, has the the strength to 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 attract a lot of people uh, coming to us for for business. And in this 150 crores, how much of it will be into marketing? Uh, And how important is marketing for oh, a company like Cars and Rent? I think uh, you know the fact that I'm I'm repeatedly saying that we are we are building Cars and Rent as a consumer brand. Mm-hmm. You can you can imagine uh, what is the stress on on marketing and and uh, brand building. Uh, marketing and brand building has a has a significant part of of this budget. Uh, of our budget, uh, mm-hmm. but as far as this 150 crore that I have uh, I have mentioned, this is an investment that we are going to do on our fleets. Okay. This is not an investment that we are doing on on marketing. Marketing is a part of our our overall business plan, so we will do that. Okay. So there are no figures for that that you'd like to. Okay, and what's the route to marketing? It is all there would the be online marketing. There would be uh, out of home marketing. There would be print marketing. There could also be uh, electronic media marketing. There would be all of that. Okay. So in fact, you know, uh, our our uh, marketing function and and uh, our ad agency they are all working on plans. Like, do you think this market is saturated for new players? No, 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 no. But I think uh, the game has changed. Mm-hmm. uh you know when when i started uh, the total amount of money that i put uh, from me and my family uh was less than 2 crores okay today i think if somebody wants to get into this business he must definitely set aside about 50 to 100 crores before he gets into this business 50 to 100 crores so yes. both it can't happen without funding or debt debt also who will give you debt is not equity i am talking about equity yeah So you know the, the the game has changed because I think uh, 12 years back hmm. the industry was at a different level. The largest player had about 600 green cars. Field. It was basically green field. Yeah, largest player had 600 cars. Hmm. So you know you still had uh, you still had space. Hmm. Uh, there is space, and and you know I'm not saying there is no space, but uh, it has changed. Hmm. It has changed significantly in terms of the kind of investment that you require to to be a successful or significant player in this industry. Premium cars, taxi service, and the self-drive. What percent of businesses each three? Our uh, our car rental business, mm. which is the corporate segment, which is the mm. airports, which is the limousines, mm. that part of the business uh, contributes about fifty percent of the total Thank revenues. You. Okay. The taxi part of the business contributes about twenty five percent, and the leasing part of the business contributes about twenty five percent. And do you see any change coming in the near future? I think uh, the car rental part of the business, mm-hmm. because of the initiative that we have taken in the uh, in the online space, mm-hmm. is going to grow significantly over the next three years, as I said. Uh, so. uh you know the the overall portfolio would would of course grow uh significantly but uh, as far as the the break up between these three segments is concerned i would say that uh, that the uh the car rental part would probably from 50% become about 55% Mm-hmm. uh the leasing from about uh, 25% could become 30% mm-hmm. uh and uh, the taxi could could become about 20% from their current level so something of that structure would in how much time like to about 3 years. years okay so your plan is 3 years yeah